How many times have you heard the name Maria in capoeira music? I want to talk a little bit about seven famous ones. I'm also going to lean on the Google Translate to help out with my Anglo accent. Santa Maria. Given that Brazil has the largest number of Catholic Christians in the world, our first Maria is, of course, the Virgin Mary, referred to in many, many songs as Santa Maria. Dona Maria do Camboatá. Everything that we know about the second Maria is contained in one song, Dona Maria do Camboatá. Uh, it's an old song. Its author is unknown. There are a couple of versions of the song. Uh, they vary only in length. Uh, the basic story is that uh, Maria went to the market or sent a boy to the market. Uh, what she wanted was either unavailable or poor quality. So she went back to the market to complain. Uh, when she got there, she started to shout, uh, then started to jinga, and then did a salto morta, uh, which directly translates uh, in English to a dead jump, uh, but it's a, uh, a kind of uh, standing backflip. Uh, so clearly, um, uh, this Maria was a practitioner of capoeira, which leads uh, to the question whether Cambuata was her home or her apellido, or both. There is a place called Cambuata. It is in uh, Pujuca, Bahia, uh, Brazil. Uh, that is the least interesting explanation. There is a plant called Cambuata. It is indigenous to several states in Brazil, including Bahia. Its leaves and bark are used to prepare medicinal tea. When brewed correctly, the tea can relieve several complaints, some as calm and as indigestion. When prepared incorrectly, however, the tea is poison. The final possibility uh, for the Apelido Camboata is a fish. Uh, commonly called by that name. It occurs throughout South America uh, in extreme environments. It looks a little bit like a catfish uh, and it uh, is also used as a source of food. Uh, the camboata, however, is covered with really thick armor-like scales, making it almost impossible to spear. It does not have lungs per se, but it does have an organ with a, which allows it to breathe for uh, short periods of time out of water. There are reports of people uh, seeing it out of water walking uh, on the land uh, because in times of drought it will, uh, it will attempt to, uh, to uh, move uh, to find a water source. Uh, if it's unable to find an adequate source, it does have the ability to, uh, to bury itself in mud and go into a, a bit of a hibernation waiting for rain. Maria Doze Homens. Only oral history remembers Maria Doze Homens. Uh, she uh, purportedly used uh, capoeira to defeat 12 police officers. Uh, attempting to arrest her at the uh, Baixa dos Zapateros in Salvador, Bahia. Uh, she is immortalized in Mestre Cordial's beautiful La Dainha, Ela Joga Capoeira. Uh, the problem with oral history uh, is uh, that Mestre Pastilla was recorded telling the same story, uh, but about a different woman, uh, Maria Omens. Uh, she also lived in Salvador about the same time uh, and trained capoeira. Uh, Mestre Pastinha apparently loved to, uh, to tell stories about her because she, uh, she liked to go, uh, she liked to drink, she liked to get drunk and uh, pick fights uh, at her favorite bar on the Pelarino Square. Maria Felipa de Oliveira. Maria Filipa de Oliveira lived on Itaparica Island, 
uh, Bahia in the uh, late 19th century and was a prominent freedom fighter in the Brazilian War of Independence. Uh, she commanded some say as many as 200 people, mostly Afro-Brazilian and indigenous women. Uh, the group fortified the island by constructing trenches. Uh, they sent supplies uh, to the fighters uh, inland. They provided nursing care. They kept watch on the coast uh, to prevent the landing of the uh, troops. And at times they, uh, they went into battle. One of the most famous stories uh, is that when the Portuguese uh, troops did uh, attempt uh, to invade the island, Maria Filipa led a group of about 40 women into uh, the camp of the Portuguese army. They, uh, they used uh, capoeira and they used the branches of a poisonous plant that causes a burning sensation to, uh, to beat back the guards. Uh, and they set fire to 42 uh, vessels. Maria Filipa survived the war. She, uh, she went back to her trade of selling fish on the island and uh, she died in 1873. Maria Vitória de Jesus. Maria Quiteria uh, also fought in uh, the Brazil War of Independence. She ran away from home and disguised herself as a man and enlisted in the uh, Brazilian army. She fought in several battles against the Portuguese in her home state of Bahia uh, before uh, her father, uh, upset by her unconventional behavior, revealed her secret. However, due to her skill in battle, she was uh, allowed to stay in the army. Not only did she stay in the army, but she actually rose in the ranks, achieving the uh, rank of lieutenant. At the end of the war, she returned to private life, where she married and had a child. Uh, although Maria died an impoverished widow living in obscurity near Salvador, she is remembered today as a national heroine. Maria Bonita. Maria Bonita was born Maria Dea in Bahia around 1911. While still in her early 20s, she, uh, she abandoned her husband uh, to go and join Lampion, the, uh, the infamous bandit. Uh, in the late 19th, early 20th century, uh, there was a wave of bandit groups operating in Northeast Brazil. The phenomenon uh, was called Cangasão uh, and the members Cangaceiros. Uh, just like Robin Hood, Bonnie and Clyde and Billy the Kid, Maria Bonita and Lampion became uh, famous folk heroes, uh, probably because they preyed on the wealthy and on the uh, military. Maria Bonita, like all of the other Cangaceiras, wore the trademark leather outfit, uh, complete with bullet belt. Uh, she wielded a rifle and participated in all of the gang's raids. If Maria Bonita had any redeeming qualities, it uh, was that uh, from time to time she would intervene to stop the gang's uh, extreme violence or cruelty. As is often the case, the gang was betrayed by a supporter. Uh, they were ambushed uh, at one of their hideouts. The machine guns that the police came armed with made for a very quick battle. Maria Bonita, Lampion, and nine others were killed uh, in the, uh, the hail of bullets. Maria Martinha do Bonfim. Maria Martina do Bonfim uh, did not train capoeira. This woman had no time to train capoeira. She had 25 children. Her youngest, a child, uh, her most famous, Mestre Bimba, 